good YouTube? It's your boy, you can't go to aka Mr. Ah. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up keypads in your VR chat worlds. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't ever miss an upload if you can't go to. Let's get it. All right, first thing you need to do is go to a search engine. I personally use Google. And you wanna type in free Udon keypad. And you wanna find this one, which is on VR models. Link for the website gonna be in the description of the video. I'm gonna click on it. Once you get to this website, you're going to need to sign into your account. If you don't have an account, just make one real quick. It's very fast and easy. Once you made your account, just click download. If you look to the top right, it should start downloading. All right, close your browser. Make your way to the Unity scene. And then you want to open up your file explorer. And you want to find that keypad file you just downloaded. You want to right click it. And you want to extract it. Once you extract it, you want to click on the file. Click on keypad. And you want to click on that Unity package file. And you want to drag and drop it into your Unity uh, asset library. Once you see this, you want to click import and wait for it to be done importing. All right, once that's done, you want to click on keypad, which is right here. You want to drag this keypad prefab into the scene. All right, guys, before you do anything, make sure you click on keypad and go to the top right of your screen and make sure the keypad Udon Sharp program asset was compiled. If this happens to be all red and it's giving you issues, you go back to your file and just re-import it into the scene. Everything looks good, so let's move on to the next step. All right, so just pay attention to the right side of the screen for right now. So the solution is the keypad password. You can set it to whatever number you like. For this video sake, I'm going to set it to 556. Don't worry about these three utilities under the solution. These three utilities right here are the sounds your keypad makes. Sound denied is the sound it makes when it's denied, granted, and then the regular sound is when you're pressing the button. As you guys can see, there's nothing in the audio source right now. And to add these sounds, you move your cursor to the right. You want to click on the circle. You want to add each sound into the right box. Okay, guys, moving on to the next utility. The translation passcode is just a name that it's going to say on the, um, the keypad screen. Translation denied is just what it's going to say when someone gets the code wrong. Translation granted is what it says when you get it right. This part of the video is just for further customization. If you don't care about customization, just move on to the next part. When you go to the top left of your screen, click on the drop down the keypad, and then click the drop down the keypad structure. You'll be able to see these four objects. If you click on main base, you'll be able to customize the base of your keypad. By looking to the right of your screen, click on the drop down of the metal material, and then clicking on the color wheel, and then changing to your desired color. I don't think you can do the same thing with glass since it's supposed to be clear. But if you click on the drop down the keypad display, and if you click on the keypad display text object, if you look to the right, you'll be able to customize the color wheel of the text. Moving on to buttons, if you click the drop down the buttons, you'll be able to customize the color of each button base along with the numbers. So if I click on the color wheel, I should be able to change the color. Now, the only reason why the whole keypad turned red is because all the base parts are connected to one material. To make more material, all you gotta do is right click on the red material, click on select the material, click on that red material that's selected, you want to press Ctrl and D on your keyboard to duplicate that material. Now just click on the original and put it back to the same color it was at. And now you can drag and drop that new material onto each button base or number. All right, guys, now that we're done with the customizing, we can move on to the next step. All right, guys, the last step is basically just choosing where you want to teleport. And if you look to the left of your screen, click on teleport point. It should show a point or empty object. This is where you will teleport to. All right, guys, before you do anything, go to the top right of your screen. You want to find a transform component. And then the transform component, you want to find a position. And then the position, you always want to make sure your teleport point y-axis always is the same of your floor y-axis. It's different, so you want to make sure the floor or ground of your world is selected. And you want to copy and paste the numbers from your floor y-axis. And you want to import that number into that y-axis and press enter. From that point, you can move your teleportation point wherever you want it. I'm going to leave it right here. And one last side of advice, you guys see this blue arrow? This blue arrow controls what side you'd be facing once you teleport to that point. So instead of facing that direction, I can use the turn tool and do a 180 turn which isn't going to be perfect. So I'm going to go to the top right of my screen go to rotation and I'm going to change the Y to a perfect 90. And you don't got to press enter each time. You can just click off somewhere on the side. All right, guys, last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my TV down and we're going to test out this keypad. Okay, guys, we're now loading to the test server. Go to the keypad, type in our code, 556, press enter. It works. All right, guys, thank you for tuning into the video. Now you guys can set up your secret rooms, your private rooms, special rooms for your friends and fans, and whatever else you guys have an idea for this keypad to be used. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't ever miss an upload if you can't guard I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.